Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous couple of videos, we have covered the unboxing of the Luxfox single board computers. Now in this video, we will getting start with the Luxfox Pico Mini B RV1103 Linux micro development board. Okay, so here is my Luxfox Pico Mini B, the micro Linux development board. Now how can I access the terminal of this board in my system or you can say in my Windows 10 laptop? Okay, how I can run the Ubuntu Linux inside it. So everything we are going to cover in this video. Okay, so here is my Luxfox Pico Mini B model. Here is the SD card extender from the Nexteon. So I can directly plug this SD card extender like this and I can plug my SD card here. Okay, so it will uh, keep my device safe. And here is the SD card reader with 8 GB of SD card. Okay, you can see SanDisk 8 GB SD card. Okay, so let's see how you can boot Ubuntu inside the SD card and how you can turn on this micro Linux development board. So first of all, uh, you can visit the documentation page of the Luxfox website and here is the documentation of SD card image burning. Okay, so first of all what you have to do is you have to install the necessary driver in your system. You can download the RK driver assistant from here. Okay, click here to download. Otherwise you can visit our website and here also you will have the link to download the driver assistant. Now I have already downloaded the driver assistants. Okay, you can see in the software here is the driver assistant. I can double click here. Okay. And I can press install driver to install the necessary driver in my system. So everything is done. Now the next step is to download the image or you can say operating system. So we can run the Ubuntu Linux inside this Luxfox Pico Mini. Okay. So you can download the Ubuntu image for Luxfox Pico Mini. So where you can download it. So here is the Google Cloud link. Okay, so I can open that in the new page. And here you can see Ubuntu folder. So navigate to the Ubuntu folder. And here you can see Luxfox Pico Mini Ubuntu Micro SD dot zip. So you have to download this zip file. Okay, which is containing the Ubuntu image for your Luxfox Pico Mini board, which you can boot directly into the micro SD card. Okay, so I have already downloaded it and uh, here it is. Okay, so Luxfox operating system and here is the operating system for Luxfox Pico Mini. Okay, Ubuntu operating system and for micro SD card. Okay, and you will get this much of files inside that zip file. Now, the main task. Okay, after downloading the image, you have to burn that image into your SD card. Now here we have the SD card. Okay, so first of all, we will, uh, you know, flash, sorry, we will first of all clear the SD card. Okay, or you can say format the SD card. So I have plugged the SD card here. Now I am going to plug it in my system. Okay, I have plugged it. And it will take a time to came here. Okay, so let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, so it is here. Now you can see it is empty already, but if it is not empty, then you have to format this SD card. So using the SD card format tool, you can format your any SD card. Okay. You can download the SD card formatter tool from here. Otherwise you can visit our website and you can download the SD card formatter from here. Okay. I have already installed that SD card formatter in my system. So I'm going to search SD card formatter. Okay. Okay, here is the entire steps mentioned. Okay, so first of all, you have to select your SD card. If you want to provide any label, then you can provide. So I'm going to provide Luxfox. Okay, and then I'm going to press format to format my SD card. Okay, you can see format is successfully completed and my SD card is empty now. Okay, after uh, formatting your SD card, now it's time to flash the Ubuntu operating system in your SD card. So for that, you have to download the SOC tool, okay, or you can say SOC toolkit. You can download it from here, okay, otherwise you can download it from here. I have already downloaded and uh, here you can see in the software, here is the SOC toolkit. You can 
double click and launch this SOC toolkit software. Okay. And here you have to select the chip. Now here you can see, uh, I hope it is visible to you. Here is the chip of RV1103. Okay. So you have to select the chip. Okay. RV1103. So that's why uh, in the SOC toolkit software, you have to select RV1103 and you have to press OK. After that, uh, you have to go to the SD tool section and here you have to select the SD card. But right now there is no SD card visible here. So I can unplug my SD card. I can plug it again. Okay. And here you can see that is visible here. Now we have to make this SD card bootable. So I can select SD boot. Okay. And then after we have to select the image which we want to boot in that SD card. So image we want to boot is the Luxfox Pico Mini Ubuntu micro SD image. Okay. So we have to select this folder location. So I'm going to copy this location and uh, we will select on the boot files. I'm going to paste that location here. Here you have to select all file and you just have to deselect this update dot image. Okay. So apart from this update dot image, you have to select all the files and then you have to click open. And here you can verify the files. Okay. So scroll down here and here you can see boot file is there. Okay. Environment is there. ID block is there. OEM is there root fs uboot and the user data so we have covered all the files now what you have to do is you just have to click on this button create sd so it will create the bootable sd card you can see it is writing something here okay you can see write disk from file blah 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 some percentage Okay, so here you can see create SD card. Okay, so our SD card is successfully created. Now what you have to do is you just have to remove the SD card from your system. So I'm going to remove the SD card from my system. Okay, and then we will plug this SD card into our Luxfox Pico mini board. So here is the camera. I am going to unplug the SD card and uh, I am going to add this micro SD card extender and here is the SD card okay so we have fit the SD card now we can plug this board into our system using USB-C cable so here is the USB-C another end is in my laptop okay so we have plugged it and here you can see the red LED is blinking Okay, so it will take a time to boot. Okay, and after a successful boot, uh, you will hear some beep sound in your system. Okay, so it's still booting. And uh, in the meantime, you can open the network connection. Okay, so you have to click here, view network connection. And uh, once your device will boot, you will see something here. Okay, so let's wait. Okay, so here you can see remote NDIS based Ethernet sharing device. Okay, once your Ubuntu is booted successfully, you will see this uh, network here. Okay, remote NDIS based Ethernet sharing device. So it means that your Luxfox Pico Mini B is successfully up and running. We can access the terminal of the Ubuntu running inside this board okay using SSH so what you can do is you can connect 
with this board using SSH. But before that, we must have to know the IP address. We must have to know the username and password to log in. Okay. So what you have to do is you just have to right click here. You have to go to the properties of this NDIS base uh, internet sharing network. You have to go to the internet protocol version. And here you have to provide the manual IP address. Okay. And the IP address you have to provide is specified here okay so your device okay is having ip address of this one right now 172.32.0.70 because we have booted ubuntu operating system inside it okay so that's why the default ip address of your device is 172.30.0.70 what you can do is you can copy the first three part of your uh, device ip address and you can put it here and you can change the last part okay and then you can hit tab so you will get this subnet mask and then you can press okay you can press yes and then you can press okay okay so everything is fine now you are in the network with your device okay so your luckfox pico mini b and your laptop or your desktop or your system is in the network with this device now you can ping this ip address from the command prompt Okay, so if I type ping IP address and here you can see I am getting ping. Okay, so yeah, if I disconnect this device. Okay, and if I try to ping, you can see we are not getting any ping. So let me connect this device again. Okay, I have connected this device and what I can do is I can start continuous pinging. Our device will boot and then after we will get ping in our system. Okay, here you can see our device is successfully booted and here you can see the ping from our device. Okay. Now we want to access the terminal of this device. Then how we can do that? So for that you can use this command SSH pico at the rate IP address of the system. So I can press Ctrl C here, I can paste Ctrl V and then I can hit enter. Now it will ask for the password to log in to the terminal of this device. So the default password is the luck fox. So I can copy this, I can paste it here and then I can hit enter. Okay, it will take some time. So let's wait. See, we are successfully logged in to the Luckfox Pico Mini B. Okay, and here you can see the terminal of your Luckfox Pico. Now you can run the command like Python 3. Okay, and here you will see that Python 3.10.12 is already installed. Okay, so I'm going to press Ctrl D and then we will check free memory. Okay, so one gigabits of swipe memory and 56 mb of total memory okay and 4 mb of memory is free 21 mb is in use okay and uh, yeah this is the buffer this is the available okay so this is our luckfox pico mini b terminal okay which is running ubuntu inside it now you can install your software okay you can install your program you can access the gpios as well you can do whatever the stuff you want to do so this is how you have to set up your luckfox pico mini b module okay if you have any question inside it if you have any doubts if you are stuck in at any uh, steps then you can always ping me on telegram instagram whatsapp anywhere also you can send me a mail also you can reach out to me on linkedin so i hope this is clear that how you can getting started with this luckfox pico mini b module okay okay so let's meet in the next video and in the next video we are going to cover that how to getting start with the luckfox pico max rv1106 micro linux development board okay so stay tuned for the next video till then take care goodbye and Thank you.